Number 14, which of the following could be a value of x? So we have a rational equation, 10 over x minus 2 is equal to x plus 1. How can we calculate the value of x? Well, what I recommend doing is getting rid of the fraction. So let's multiply everything by x. So 10 over x times x, the x variables will cancel, giving us just 10. x times negative 2 is negative 2x. And then x times x is x squared. x times 1 is x. So this is what we have. Now let's take everything from the left side and move it to the right side. As we move negative 2x to the right side, it's going to change from negative 2x to positive 2x. And as we move positive 10 from the left to the right side, it's going to become negative 10. So this is what we have. Now let's go ahead and combine like terms. So we have x plus 2x, which is 3x. And thus we have x squared plus 3x minus 10. So now we have a trinomial with a leading coefficient of 1. So let's go ahead and factor that expression. So what two numbers multiply to negative 10 but add to positive 3? So we know 5 and 2 will give us 10 if we multiply the two numbers. Now, should we make the 5 negative or the 2 negative? Negative 2 plus 5 is positive 3. So the 2 has to be negative. Thus, to factor it, it's going to be x plus 5 and x minus 2. So let's set each factor equal to 0. Subtracting 5 from both sides, we get the first solution, x is equal to negative 5. And for the other one, adding 2 to both sides gives us the other answer, x is equal to 2. Now, this answer is not listed, so A is the correct answer choice. X is equal to negative 5. Number 15, which of the following could be a value of X in the equation shown below? So here we have two fractions separated by an equal sign, but with many trinomials. So let's factor. Let's begin by factoring the first expression. X squared minus 2X minus 24. So let's look for two numbers that multiply to negative 24, but add to negative 2. So this is going to be negative 6 and positive 4. So I'm going to write it as x minus 6 times x plus 4. Now what about the trinomial on the bottom left? So what two numbers multiply to 12, but add to 7? Factors of 12 are 1 and 12. 2 and 6, 3 and 4. But 3 plus 4 adds up to 7. So it's going to be x plus 3 times x plus 4. Now for the last one on the bottom right, two numbers that multiply to negative 6 but add to positive 1 would be positive 3 and negative 2. So we have x plus 3 times x minus 2. Now, before we move on to our next step, it's important to understand that we cannot have a zero in the denominator. So the x values that would produce a zero in the denominator would make the function undefined. So because we have the x plus 3 factor on the bottom, x cannot equal negative 3. Here we have x plus 4, so x cannot be negative 4. And here we have x minus 2, so x cannot equal 2. Negative 4 is one of the answer choices. Since it would make the expression or the function undefined, we can eliminate negative 4 as an answer choice. So now what we can do at this point is cancel. We can cancel x plus 4. And if we multiply the right side and the left side by x plus 3, we could cancel the x plus 3 factors. 
So what we have left over, which I'm going to write at the top, we have x minus 6 on the right side, I mean on the left side, and on the right side we have 12 over x minus 2. So what do you think we need to do at this point in order to solve the equation? What is our next step? Now let's write x minus 6 over 1. So now we have two fractions separated by an equal sign. So we can cross multiply. So we're going to have 1 times 12, which is 12. And then we're going to multiply x minus 6 by x minus 2. Our next step is to FOIL. So we're going to multiply x by x, which is x squared, and then x times negative 2, and then negative 6 times x, and then negative 6 times negative 2, which is positive 12. Now, subtracting both sides by 12, we're going to have 0 is equal to x squared, and then we can combine these two. Negative 2x minus 6x is negative 8x. Our next step is to factor the GCF, the greatest common factor, which in this case is going to be x. So we can factor this expression as x times x minus 8. Now what we're going to do is set each factor equal to 0. So we have x is equal to 0, and if you set x minus 8 equal to 0, when you solve it, you'll get x is equal to 8. Now 0 is not one of the solutions, but 8 is. So E is the correct answer choice for this problem.